to get my coloring page. The coloring page today is a picture of King David. Do you like to draw King David, Chloe? And the picture of David in our Bible story book, have you been reading the Bible story every week? Today, the story is about King David. He's the man with the crown. But does David look happy or sad in this picture? Can you see? He looks sad. Do you know why? Because the other man, his name is Nathan. He's a prophet. Could you say Nathan with me? Nathan. God sent Nathan to talk to David, and David is sad because he did something very bad, and God saw David do it. So God sent Nathan to David to tell him that God is going to punish David. But you know what? David is sorry. He's sorry he's been bad, and he asked God to forgive him. Oh, God. Clarabelle is here today, boys and girls. Clarabelle the cow. Hi, Clarabelle. Hey, Pastor Rucker. How are you? Good afternoon, boys and girls. Hey, Chloe. Hey, Emily and Wesley. Hey there, Juliet and Joshua. Hi, Madeline. Hi, Olivia. Hi, everybody. How are you today? Nice to see you. What's new? I'm so happy. I just love my summer. My favorite temperature is about 70 degrees, and I love to graze on the field and eat grass all day long. Do you know that I have four compartments in my stomach? That is so I can eat grass and get all the good green vitamins. Hey, Rocky the Fox, what are you doing this summer? Oh, oh, oh I, can't, I can't believe I did that. Rocky, Rocky, what did you do? Oh, well, you know I'm a fox, right? Of course I know you're a fox, Rocky. And what is that in your mouth? Oh, 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 What's in your oh, mouth? Well, you know I like to play it, especially with balls, right? Oh, yes, I know you like to play, Rocky. Well, we live right next to a golf course, and I saw a really nice white ball land on the mound, and it looked like so much fun. Rocky, Rocky! Tell me you stole a golf ball. Yes. Oh. It looked like so much fun, I just couldn't help it. Oh, no. What happened? So I saw the ball, and I ran onto the golf green, and I took the ball in my mouth and ran away. Oh, no. Did anyone see you? Yes. The man who hit the golf ball saw me, and he started yelling at me and running after me. Hey, Fox, oh, give no. me my ball back. Oh, no, oh, no. Did he catch you? Oh, no. I could run a lot faster than him. He was kind of old, so I got away. Did your mom and dad find out? Well, yes. I thought I could get away with it, but the man was screaming so loudly my parents heard him and found out what I did. Well, Rocky, that's what the Bible says. Your sin will find you out. Oh, I didn't think anyone would find out what I did. But Rocky, God always sees what you've done. We can never get away with sin. Oh, I know it's wrong. And I didn't think that I would steal golf balls anymore. What do you mean anymore? What, have you done this before? Yes. I have lots of times. Oh, I actually have a whole jar full of golf balls. So why did you have to steal another one, Rocky? You know that's not right to do. You could have just played with the golf balls you already have. Yes, I know, but it's just so hard to stop. I, I think it's going to be so much fun. Oh, no. Rocky. This reminds me of the story of David when he sinned against God. Oh, really? How was that? Well, David already had a wife, but then he stole someone else's wife. Oh, that's kind of like me. Like I had a lot of golf balls and still stole another one. Yeah, and it gets even worse. To cover for his sin, David 
had the woman's husband killed. Oh, no. So you mean David did two sins? Two big sins. Oh. One, one big sin always leads to another one. Oh, no. What did he do then? Well, David thought he could get away with his sin. But do you know who saw him? Hmm. Let me think. You mean God? Was it God who saw him sin? Yes, Rocky. God saw what David did. And God sent Nathan the prophet to David. Nathan told him that God knew about his sin. And then David felt so bad, he confessed his sin to God. Oh, I feel bad about my sin. Do you think God forgave David? Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, do you think? Oh, well, now, God, I believe, he forgave David because David cried out to God, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Wow, what did he say? That sounded beautiful. Can you say that again? Sure, it's Psalm 5110. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Oh, wow, that's what I need. Let me try to say it. Mm, create in me a clear head, no. oh God. No, Rocky, not oh. a clear head, a clean heart. Oh, okay, I'll get it. Okay, let me try it again. Create in me a clean heart, oh God, and... Renew, Renew a, right spirit. a right spirit within me. So no, 51 10. Oh, I no, think I did it. Oh, yeah. I'm so happy now. Hey, let's say it again. Ready? Okay. So 51 10. Create in me a clean heart, oh God, and renew a right spirit within me. Yeah, that's it, Rocky. Wow, thanks, Clarabelle. You really helped me a lot. I'm not going to steal any more golf balls. Well, that's good, Rocky, but you should also return this one. Ooh, really? Okay, you... I'll go get that ball and put it back on the golf thing. Maybe that man will find it. That's a good idea. Boys and girls, you should always give back anything that you take. When we steal something, we have to repay it, right? Okay, see you later. Bye, Juliet. Bye, Chloe. Bye, Joshua. Bye-bye. Okay. Everybody, bye-bye. Bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye Clarabelle. Bye. Thanks for coming out today, Clarabelle. Well, boys and girls.